Hi, my name is Jeremy Martel, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I organize and rename my photos. To complete some of the steps in this video, you will need an Apple computer that is running OS X 10.5 Leopard or later, and the trial version of Renamer for Mac, which can be downloaded from www.renamerformac.com. The first step is to select the location on your hard drive where you want to store all your pictures. The most common place on a Mac would be in your Pictures folder. In the Pictures folder, create a new folder called Digital Pictures. If this is already done, select it. You can also label the folder with a color to make it stand out. To do this, right-click the folder and select the label color that you want. In the Digital Pictures folder, create a new folder for the year that the photos were taken. In this case, my pictures were taken in 2010, so I'll create a folder for that year. In the folder that represents the year the photos were taken, create an event folder. The event folder will represent the day the pictures were taken on and should be formatted with the following structure. Year, month, day, followed by a folder description. So for this example, my pictures were taken at a dinner party on January 9th, so we will name our event folder 2010-01 for January-09 dinner party. The event folders are named like this, so as more events are added to the folder, they will automatically organize themselves chronologically. Now, download, copy, or drag all your photos for this date into the event folder. In this example, my photos are on the memory card from my camera, so I'll copy them by dragging them into the folder. It is important to delete any unwanted or damaged photos, photos that are blurry or incorrectly exposed as they will only take up extra space on your computer and add distraction when you're viewing your photos. The easiest way to do this on a Mac is using Preview. To open all the photos in Preview, select all the files in the folder by selecting the first file in the folder and pressing Command A on the keyboard to select all the files. Press Command O on the keyboard to open the files that are selected using the default application. This will open all the photos in Preview. Alternatively, if Preview isn't your default program, then you can right-click on the selected files, mouse over Open With, and select Preview. When you come across a photo you don't want, like this blurry photo, press Command Delete to send it to the trash. Repeat this process until all the unwanted files are removed. Once you have all the files downloaded and all the unwanted files removed, you are ready to rename the photos. The file name structure is designed to make the photos easier to identify by just reading the file name, and it will also keep them chronologically organized. The file name is made up of four parts. A three-digit sequential number, a general description, in brackets the location of the photo, and ending with the date. So in this example, we will name the files Dinner Party, 17th Ave, January 9th, 2010, using Renamer for Mac. Start off by opening Renamer for Mac and a Finder window. Select all the files you want to rename by pressing Command A on the keyboard and drag those selected files into the Renamer window. Select the Number tab and fill in the following areas. Numbering, select three digit sequential numbers. Label, press the spacebar once to create a space between the number and your label and type in your new file name. In this example, we will rename the photos to dinner party, open bracket, 17th Ave, close bracket, January 9th, comma, 2010. Text format, select number hyphen label. And under start at, ensure it's set to the number one. Now sort the files either by the file name, this is the recommended way, or by the date they were created. This ensures that all the photos are in chronological order before they're renamed. If your photos don't have their original file name or date stamp, then you can manually organize the photos by dragging them into the order that you want. Click the rename button to rename the files, and then click the broom icon to clear away the files, preventing you from accidentally re-renaming your files. Now your photos are renamed. That concludes this video. 
please feel free to leave your questions and comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.